Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone, and if you're new here, hello and welcome. This is Motor Mike Media, and as always, I'm Motor Mike, and today, well, we're going to talk about the 2022 Mitsubishi Outlander. The Outlander is finally redesigned, it's one of their best selling models, and it looks pretty de decent. It's uh, <laughs> very concept car like. At first, I was kind of polarized to be honest with you, that front end is a lot. But the more I'm mean, looking at the pictures and looking at the concepts of which it came from, it's starting to grow on me. It does have a bold presence. So let's talk about the styling first. We'll start with that front end. That front end has that giant grill. It's not only lifted up higher on the, the chin line of the grill, if you want to speak it like that, but the way it looks. You have the daytime running lights on top, small, narrow, aggressive looking, and you have large headlight beams down below. Now, a lot of cars are doing it nowadays, but the way it's set up, like I said, is a very bold presence to it, and it's starting to grow on me in a way. Now let's look at the side profile. Now here's where I really like the Outlander. It has a nice boxy silhouette overall, some pretty sharp body lines. It has a very classy yet rugged look at the same time. And I really like the rims that they showed on this picture. Uh, they're very aggressive looking wheels, very sporty looking. And the rear end. The rear end's more simple, but it still has some nice lines to it. Very nice uh, tail lights in the rear end. And the interior. Now here's where the Outlander really shines. They've been improving the interior quality. Now just so you all know, the Nissan Pathfinder, which just got redesigned, shares the same platform that this Outlander does too. They're basically sister uh, vehicles, but you can tell that they've really stepped up the game when it comes to material quality. You can get premium leathers not only in the seats, but on the door panels, on the dash, there's other soft touch materials, even the switch gear, whether it be on the steering wheel or even down by your uh, driver's door, the switch gear has been improved to feel more premium, to look more upscale, and it truly does kind of feel luxurious. And the best part about this vehicle is the price. A base model starts under $27,000, which is pretty good of a deal, because this is a third row vehicle. That's right, there's actually three rows in this vehicle. Obviously the third row is only reserved for children, or uh, if you need a pinch, you can put an adult back there, they won't be very happy, but you do have that third row. But even the second row behind the driver is very comfortable. Nice seats, plenty of space. It's just an overall a great family hauler. Now, let's talk some numbers real quick. Like I said, this vehicle starts under $27,000, which is awesome. You can get a front-wheel drive model, or you can get all-wheel drive, which is always good to have if you're in a snow state or something like that. And you have a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine. It makes 181 horsepower and 181 pound-feet of torque. So it's not the most impressive numbers, but it returns decent fuel economy. And from what people have been saying, the engine has been used in other vehicles. That's a relatively peppy engine. Now, as of right now, we don't have a hybrid, but a hybrid is coming. Uh, the previous Outlander had a hybrid. People really liked it. So expect more on this car coming in the next few months. But overall, I'm pretty impressed by it. Like I said, it has uh, concept car styling cues. It feels very luxurious by looking at these pictures. And I want to know what you guys think. What do you think of the Outlander overall? What are things you like about it? Or what things you don't like about it? And out of this competition, would you choose this or one of the competition? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already and you want to, check out my channel. I keep trying to give you guys more and more content. I talk about cars, trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, combustion engines, and EVs, a little bit of everything. But please, if you want to support me in a more personal way, I have a Patreon now. I have some different tiers to give you different things. It really helps me and the channel grow. And as always, I truly, truly appreciate you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you guys can stay up to date with the latest and greatest from my channel. And I'll see you all in the next one.